Hey guys, it's Gina and happy National Scrapbooking Day. I don't think this layout will go up on Saturday um, because my friend Jelly and I are working on some pretty exciting stuff. She's going to start hosting all of my um, my layouts and things on her blog so I won't have to be blogging anymore, thank goodness. And um, so she's going to start releasing the videos in time when she uploads and um, she's working on the design blog this weekend. So. The, the blog design this weekend. So um, that is what she is working on and I've actually been scrapbooking. I can't believe it either. It's been a while. So you know everything is kind of nuts when you first start. I actually pulled the Scraptastic kit from April. I had the Darlene uh, kit and add-on, the main kit and the add-on. And um, so I'm scrapbooking this photo here of these little Stu and I went for a walk at a national wildlife refuge and there were these little wet footprints on the pier that walked through the the refuge of I don't I think they're raccoon um prints but I don't really know so I wanted to scrapbook that photo. I'm using um, that black cardstock that just came in the kit and then that hello paper. All of the supplies for this layout will be on the blog post and you can go check that out uh, because I don't have the supply list in front of me unfortunately but most of it came from that Darlene kit. Um, and the name of that tool that I'm using there to make my layers is also on the blog post because I can never remember what that darn thing is called. That paper there is exclusive to the kit, that um, yellow polka dot. It's called Dot. It came in that Darlene kit. And then I decided that I needed some black uh, behind those polka dots kind of to offset that uh, photo with the hello paper that I wanted to use. I knew I wanted to mat the hello paper and frame it a little bit with that black cardstock. But then I'm going to cut out the um, inside of that um, that black cardstock so that I can use it. And at first I was just going to cut it with my scissors and then I was like, oh god, I'll never get that straight again. So then I pulled out the X-Acto knife and the ruler and cut it so that at least three sides would be straight and then I just needed to clean up that one part there. So I'm putting some adhesive on this hello paper. I think that hello paper is from Pebbles. But I, I can't remember, like I said, you'll just have to check out the blog post if you're interested. This is my Zutter Distress It All, and I'm going to distress all of the papers for this layout, well, at least this hello one. And um, you can use that Tim Holtz uh, tool, that one works good. You can use the side of your uh, scissors, actually, to do that. I bought this tool. It's not, if you're looking for slight uh, distressing, it works fine. If you want something with the tears and the really tattered kind of look, it takes, you You would not save yourself any time by having that tool. Um, the Tim Holtz one will work just as quickly or slowly as the case may be. I'm still feeling like some, you know, that this uh, hello paper needs to be defined a little bit. So I'm looking through my pens and I'm going to use, at first I was going to use this very thin pen and then the line didn't show up very well. So then I went back with, a, I think it's a point, I think it's an 05. Um, it's a Zig Millennium pen. And uh, so I'm just going through and I'm going to outline that hello paper. And then I'm going to start working on my layers. And like I warned you when this video started, I'm not scrapbooked in a very long time. So... <coughs> And I'm getting over bronchitis, so pardon me for that. Um, but I knew I wanted to use these banner shapes that came in this. Um, they're from Simple Stories, the IM collection. That chipboard there, again, came in the kit. But I don't ever use those banner shapes. Like, they drive me a little bit insane because I don't ever know what to do with them. So I challenged myself on this layout that I was going to use the main focus. Uh, yeah, we're telling stories and we're putting pictures on pages, but the main focus for me was I wanted to use that darn banner. So um, I'm going to add some adhesive, put my black cardstock down, and then I'm going to pull it back up because, you know, I forgot that I wanted to distress it. So uh, I always think about these things after I hear it. So I'll get a little bit, I'll get a pretty far on this little process and then I'll decide, oh, I need to pull that uh, black one back up. To Yep, here we go. I'm going to distress it. The good thing about the distressing tool, um, and any of them works the same way, but I didn't have to pull anything that I had already adhered to this black cardstock to distress those sides. 
Oh, and here I'm like, okay, I'm using yellow polka dots, but I don't have a whole lot of yellow on this page. So I went off and I'm looking for mists, and I'm going to test this one out first. And I hadn't been used mist in, in quite some time, and so I had to find my misting box. And there it is. I just use an old Studio Calico box. And I pulled out that color first from Mr. Huey, and it looks, I think I'm going to pull it up so you can see it. It looks a little too orange. And I was definitely going for yellow. I think that's called sunshine. And it, it just had a little bit too much yellow, uh, orange in it. So then I went back to the drawer and I pulled out taxi. This is Mr. Huey's taxi. And there you go. Real quick. Um, but there it is. Uh, taxi works much better. So I'm just going to splatter this uh, yellow ink around the page just to pull that yellow out some from where I have those yellow polka dots. I really like the yellow polka dots underneath the photo, but I just wanted to add yellow somewhere else. And so this uh, inking was an easy way to do that. So there we go. And I don't exactly know where I want to put stuff. You get into a rhythm when you scrapbook all the time. It feels like, you know, things get easier the more you do it. And then when you go on hiatus and you don't do it for a long time like that, first layout is a real pain. And I'm also going to apologize. This video is darker than they normally than they normally than they normally are. I'll learn how to talk one of these days. Um, because I actually got rid of one of my studio lights because I didn't think I needed it. And then I looked at this video while I was doing this little voiceover that I'm doing with you right here. And yeah, I need to bring the other light back. So unfortunately, these first three videos that I'm going to post after this little hiatus I had going on are going to be dark because I didn't realize that how important that um, light was. But as you can see, the video is a little bit, it's a lot darker than my video normally, my videos normally are. So I decide that um, the kit that came before this one, the um, March kit, actually had lots of blacks and yellows in it. So I went back to that kit and pulled out some more of um, these embellishments. And what I really like to do, I have a 4x6 photo here. I print a lot of my photos at 4x6, but in this particular photo, I really want your eye to pay attention to those paw prints. So I just pulled one of those frames out from that chipboard set. I think it's from Pebbles. I don't really know. But um, I pulled that frame out so I could, even though, you know, I'm cutting off the, the negative parts of the, the negative parts of the photo are still on the layout. I'm okay with that because now I bring the attention to what I'm really looking at on the, on the layout. So I put my banner back on. I used a little bow. That bow is also from the March kit. And then I had to open my um, glossy accents. And I've gotten lots of feedback about how to keep the glossy accents from getting all gooped up. And um, they are very good suggestions. And of course, I haven't done any of them. One um, person suggested keeping a pin in it all the time, and that, that makes sense to me, but um, yeah, I didn't do it. So I was thinking about using these pink paisley flowers. I am actually going to end up using one of them, but um, it's going to take me a little while to decide which one I want to use. I put those acrylic arrows down to point to bring more focus to those little paw prints. Um, then we have to, yeah clean up the glossy accents again. And like I said, the, the the kit before this one came with lots of blacks and yellows. So I just went back to that kit because I knew that was what the color combination was. And I'm just pulling out some, in, um, some embellishments and, and really die cuts. These are from Kaiser Craft. Um, these die cuts that I thought I might use on the page. And I thought I would use that amazing and that one that says notes. Like I thought I'd put my journaling on that one that says notes. But I'm actually not going to use either of those. I'm going to use this one little word that came out of that Kaiser craft that says hello. And it was interesting to me because the font really matches the background. So I really like that, that it brought the hello from the background paper onto the main embellishment like cluster or on the main photo. And I'm just going to put that down um, with a little bit of Tombow Mono um, adhesive and that's going to be my title. My title is just going to be that simple hello there and then I do decide okay I'm still trying to figure out what to do in this lower left hand corner but um, I decide eventually that I'm going to use that flower there and then I'm going to go look for another label to put down so I can put my title on the layout. I'm actually going to pull a uh, sticker from an October afternoon sticker set. There it is. And I'm going to put that down there. And that's what I'm going to use to do my journaling. 
and I think at this point, I don't know where I have run off to, but, um, yep, I have no idea where I am. I'll c I will come back sooner or later, but, um, that's where I'm going to put my journaling, and the journaling's really simple. It just says, the critter's wet footprints remain as Stu and I walk along the path at Prime Hook. We just missed him. And I have gone on a hiatus right in this video. I don't know what I was looking for. Um, but I'm going to outline that um, label as well. Uh, because the other very um, light paper on the layout is also outlined. And right now I'm looking for my, my um, layouts to make. My layout to-do list that I keep to figure out what the... Um, I wanted to use that die cut right there. It says on a journey. And then I forgot to put it on the page. So I'm going to put it on the page now after I added some ink to it. I added some black stays on. No distress ink. And then I'm going to outline it as well. So all of the lighter papers that are on this layout have been outlined. Just to give it some consistency. And I like the on the journey because like, you know, the little raccoon was off running somewhere or something. I don't know. But um, so this picture was taken on January 1st of 2014. There's my to-do list that I keep track of all of the layouts I want to make for the year. And that tells me like the date, what's going on, and like where we were. So uh, that's what I was looking for. I needed to know where we are. And that is going to end this layout, I'm pretty sure. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are loving the new layout, um, loving the new website. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. Okay, guys, I completely lied. This layout was not done. I decided that it needed something more. And so I'm pulling out all of the die cuts that came, and none of that works. But I'm going to add a title to this. And I'm not going to... Um, I'm looking through all of my small black letter stickers because I'm just going to add Critter Tracks as a subtitle to this uh, layout. And I, here, look at this. I, initially, I start using this wax paper. I'm like, okay, you've got a very small space here. you got to make sure the letters fit. So I'm starting with the wax paper. Here you go. It's not going to last very long, let me tell you. I'm going to just be like, why are you doing this twice? Like, I don't know. Like, I cannot get over that. Like, I, I love people who use the wax paper. It works so well. They get their, you know, get their letters worked out where they want them to be and all. And I just cannot, I'm like, this is wasting time. I wish that I could do it, you know, like, and I guess I could if I forced myself. But the whole time I'm putting those letter stickers on that wax paper, I'm like, I could just be putting this on my layout and, and be almost done, you know. And then if it doesn't work out, then we just move them around 30 times while they're adhered to the layout. It's just crazy to me. I don't know. I, I keep the wax paper on my desk. I'm like, oh, I'm going to use this. And I never do. And so I got my critter tracks there. There is a little bit of an odd space in between critter and tracks there. And I'm going to look for some enamel dots. I just wanted a small black enamel dot to stick between those. But I didn't have any on my desk. So I just used this asterisk. And that is the end of the layout and the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.